A new mechanical treatment uh, for stroke patients. It shows great improvement in reducing disability after that stroke. That's the conclusion of a study in, in the Netherlands. It's called the retrievable stent. And a St. Louis University neurologist, Dr. Randall Edgel, joins us to explain the process. Good morning to you, doctor. Thanks so much for coming in. Good morning. Thank you for having me. And you also brought the stent with you. That's right. This is the uh, device which was studied in that research trial which, as you say, was shown to be very effective in treating some of the most severe uh, forms of stroke, really responsible for a large burden of disease. Before we get into the actual process, you know, just explaining a, a stroke, it's, it has to do with the blood flow to the brain. That's right. So a lot of times uh, strokes are caused by blood clots uh, originating in different parts of the body, especially the heart. They get lodged in the major arteries of the vein. A brain, excuse me, and those are the types of stroke that cause the most severe disability. It's really a major problem in the United States, causing the, uh, the fourth uh, leading cause of disability. Almost a million strokes occur every year. And it was also very crucial four and a half hours uh, after a stroke to get this medicine, TPA. And this is now being used along with the meds and even without in, in many cases. You're right. So TPA was the first groundbreaking treatment that we discovered in the uh, mid-1990s. And since then, a lot of our research has failed to make further advances. So this is a major uh, advance in the field, allowing us to treat another group of patients that we did not have very effective treatments before, and really the most severely affected stroke patients. All right. When I was reading how this stent works, it, it reminded me of going to a rodeo watching the cowboy on the horse and then lassoing the little calf and pulling it in. In many ways, that's what you do with this. Explain it and show us a little I demonstration. I guess that's true. So what happens is that we uh, get the patient very rapidly. Time is essential in these uh, diseases uh, to a specialized radiological suite. We make a small hole in the blood vessel by the hip, guide a tube or a catheter all the way up into the brain arteries, right into the clot. From the leg? From the leg, yeah. So it's a minimally invasive treatment, uh, even though we do have to access the brain arteries. And once we're up there next to the clot, we can open up this very small metal cylinder that's made of a wire mesh within the clot. It gets trapped in the uh, stent, the clot does, and then we can pull the clot out. We also apply a little bit of suction to try and pull out all the fragments along with the clot and remove it from the body very quickly and safely. And so that's uh, what was demonstrated in this Mr. Clean trial that was just published yesterday. Is there, is there any fear that uh, sometimes it leaves smaller parts of the clot that it breaks up when they're pulling it out? I think that is uh, a rare uh, possibility and we try and minimize that by having a second device, a balloon, on the tip of a tube or a catheter in the neck and we are suctioning out blood as we remove the clot so that all the little particles come along with it and out of the body. That is fascinating stuff, doctor. And you, so you've been doing this now for a couple of years? So we've had a number of different devices. Uh, we've been doing this probably for about seven years now, but really this is the first time we've seen a, a device be as effective as this. So this has been around for about two years and been researched over that time period, and now we have the results, the fruits of that labor, so to speak. Well, they're doing it at St. Louis University. Doctor, thank you so much for coming in. Dr. Edgel from SLU, we appreciate it. Thank you for having me. That, that neat, Randy, huh? Really amazing, yes, yeah. thank you. Well, it is fair to say the blues...